Hello. Welcome and thank you for visiting Health Alert Channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to be updated with new videos. What happens if you consume a lot of salt? Do you know Roman soldiers earned a portion of their salary in salt? And the word soldier came from saldare, meaning to give salt. Salt is important to the history of the world since it allowed meat to be preserved. Salt is also important for the way your body functions well. Too much salt in your diet is not good. Yet in a normal diet, most of us get too much salt. Processed foods. Frozen foods. And canned foods are generously salted to improve the flavor of the food. So what happens when you're consuming too much salt? The effects may be terrible and some may even surprise you. 1. Kidney disease. Salt makes your body retain water. Your body is trying to balance the salt ratio by holding on to water. Your kidneys have to work harder to filter out all the excess water. Arteries get overpressurized with more water in the bloodstream. This induces pressure on the arteries leading to the kidneys. The strain eventually causes damage and can turn to kidney disease, or even death if left without expensive and painful medication. 2. High blood pressure. The excess volume of salt allows blood pressure to increase as the body attempts to dilute salt in the blood. Blood pressure measures how hard your heart is working to pump blood through arteries. When your heart is working hard continuously, the tiny arterial muscles are becoming extremely thick. As a result, the space inside the arteries is reduced and the blood pressure raises even more. The arteries eventually burst or get clogged. It can cause damage to organs. And eventually death. 3. Heart attacks. Higher blood pressure damages arteries in the heart. Oftentimes, angina is the first symptom, and intense pain when it's active. Continued lack of blood and oxygen to the heart damages the heart muscle. The part of the heart that doesn't get blood anymore dies and you will have a heart attack. Reducing the salt helps to lower heart disease development. Unfortunately, too little salt can lead to heart disease, too. It's still best to talk to your doctor if you have questions. 4. Brain Issues Increased blood pressure causes damage to brain arteries. When cells do not get enough oxygen, they either die or they just do not function at all. This can result in dementia. As with the heart, brain arteries may get clogged or burst, leading to stroke. If this happens, blood flow to certain parts of the brain is cut off and that part dies. The outcomes may vary from moderate mental and physical disability. Or even death. Controlling blood pressure by limiting salt intake will minimize dementia. And stroke chances. 5. Cancer. The salt cancer connection is a little doubtful, but it does exist. Higher salt. Sodium. Salty food levels are linked with stomach cancer. It's unclear whether it's salt. Or a typically poor diet low in fruits and vegetables. People who eat more salt or salty foods also appear to have higher levels of Helicobacter pylori, a bacterium related to cancer of the stomach. Aside from cancer, salt can also lead to obesity. Reducing the salt could lower the risk of cancer. 6. Osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is the age diminishing of bones. There are a lot of causes of osteoporosis, like lack of exercise. And excessive soda consumption. Also, the more salt consumed, the more calcium is lost. The more calcium you lose, the weaker the bones will get, and the more likely they will break. Reducing salt intake while increasing the calcium and vitamin D-based foods will slow down osteoporosis. 
Most people consume about 4,000 mg of salt every day, leading to a loss of around 80 mg of calcium a day. 7. Conclusion. Salt makes food really tastes good. We are programmed to seek out salt to help our body to function well. The concern is that we get nearly twice the recommended daily salt intake, usually from processed foods. With all the known health threats it makes sense to cut down on salt. Avoid canned foods. Limit salt in your recipes. Remove the salt shaker from the table. And cut back on processed food. High blood pressure is known as a silent killer, since it is not known by many people until it's too late. Check your blood pressure, and then put your salt intake on the brakes. In the long run you'll be healthier and will feel better. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share the things that happen if you consume a lot of salt to your friends for them to be aware. Please share your story in the comments section as they could be useful for someone else.